this is the main building at the Occidental Papagayo Resort in uh, Costa Rica. It houses the uh, main lobby and main buffet. This is the view uh, from the uh, main building at the resort. This is the main swimming pool. Uh, this is where the entertainment activities uh, are located. This is a secondary pool. Um, it has a uh, swim up bar. This is the uh, main walkway that goes from the resort uh, down to the resort's beach. Uh, this is the, the, the beach. It's uh, not that busy. Also on the beach, uh, the resort provided uh, kayaking and uh, snorkeling, which is in, uh, included uh, free with the resort. Uh, this is the uh, building that I was staying in. Uh, my unit is the one in the middle. This is a tour of my uh, hotel room at the Occidental Papagayo. The, uh, first starting off in the corner, there's a uh, small seating area. And then next to that, uh, in this cabinet, there's a fridge. And then there's a coffee maker. Uh, every day you get two uh, free water, two beer, and uh, two uh, pop included. And then you have your flat screen TV. And then uh, left of that is a uh, study center. And then uh, the Wi-Fi is included for me uh, since I came with Air Transat. Uh, but otherwise you have to pay separately for the Wi-Fi. Uh, this is the uh, wall connector for your electronics. And then over here is the uh, in-suite safe. And then uh, in the closet you also get uh, two bathrobes. Uh, you also get a, an umbrella and uh, ironing board and iron. Uh, the bed included in my suite was uh, one large king size bed. And then uh, this is the air conditioning unit. Uh, there's also a uh, ceiling fan uh, that's available in the room. Uh, this is the washroom. It uh, has nice modern fixtures. Uh, it also comes with a uh, electronic hair dryer. This is the toilet. The, uh, it's properly sanitized. Over here, there's a walk in shower. And then, included uh, with that, is a shampoo, conditioner. And so, and again, it has a lot of nice modern fixtures. These are some pictures that I took of the uh, flora that are uh, present on the resort. I'm not a botany expert, so unfortunately I can't give you a uh, detailed commentary on exactly uh, what species uh, these flowers are. I managed to take this picture of the uh, sunrise uh, from my room uh, in the morning. Uh, there's a troop of monkeys that uh, live on the resort. Uh, they like to live in the mango trees, uh, which, which there are quite a few. This is uh, one of the howler monkeys uh, eating a mango. And there's also a lot of uh, iguanas on the resort. They like to sun themselves on the uh, concrete uh, slabs that are around the resort. Uh, these iguanas were uh, everywhere. There's also a uh, magpies uh, everywhere. And this one was busy eating its mango, but uh, they were flying around uh, everywhere, including the lobby.
I had my DJI uh, Mini Mavic uh, drone, uh, so I tried to take some uh, drone footage of the uh, main beach of the resort, and um, I was going to fly over the resort itself, but unfortunately it was quite windy. It, uh, as a result, I started to get a high wind warning, and uh, I've crashed a drone before, so I decided to err on the side of ca caution and uh, landed the drone. Uh, next time, uh, I'll fly over the resort. As you can see, the, uh, the rainforest is quite dried out uh, at this time of the year. It was March of 2020. Uh, the the uh, dry season in Costa Rica starts around November and uh, extends to around uh, April. Uh, at that time, uh, very little, if any, rain falls in this area of Costa Rica. And as a result, the uh, lush green rainforest turns into what they call the dry rainforest. Uh, which is what you see right now in terms of the vegetation. It, uh, in the uh, the next sections, what I've done is that I've shown the various excursions that I took while I was at the resort. There's a iguana on the track. There's a iguana right here on the road.
This is a uh, picture of the uh, sunset in Costa Rica. Uh, I just thought I'd leave you with my final impressions of the resort. Uh, the Everything was really good. I thought it was good value for the money. Uh, the only real complaint that I had was that the internet at the resort was really slow. It, uh, you were just, it was not able to handle video. I was trying to upload this video at, at the resort itself, but it just couldn't handle, uh, handle it. It was of too slow uh, bandwidth. Other than that, everything was good.